Hello, my dear friends. Today we're gonna talk about the Rhino. You know, I have some tutorials on my channel about the Rhino. So this is the time to go back to the Rhino and get some concept by simple script, simple parametric script in Rhino and Grasshopper. I hope this tutorial will be interesting for you if you are just beginner in Rhino. It totally will be helpful for you. If not, I think you just can check it. Maybe you will get something new. So if you are ready for that, let's get started. As always, I will start from the scratch. Here is the my Rhino, as you can see. We I just maximize my uh, 3D viewport, and here we can see 3D. But mostly we will work in Grasshopper. So just open up the Grasshopper. If you have Rhino 6, you will find it under the standard, and you will find it here in the Grasshopper. But I think if you wanna learn something about the Grasshopper, you should know how to open it up. Okay, here is my Grasshopper, and what what from what we will start? We will start from the plane and just double left click on your mouse and right here there is a thing plane plane we need plane surface you will find it here plane surface as you can see i just added the my uh, new node and immediately we can see it on my 3d viewport so here we just should uh, type the size of our my future um, of my future the plane, surface plane, let's write it by panel, here the panel, just drag and drop here, or just can you write panel, and you will see it panel here. Okay, here we will just write the static number, it will be 60. Why I just using for plane, because we not will change this number, this is will be static one, and let's write here the 60, and here I will write 62. Okay, done. And my here is my plane, as you can see, it's moved from the center of the my of the my plane you can uh, move it back or up to you i will just work it here because uh, i don't have any specific uh, goal and uh, for me it's fine okay so now it's not finished now we should create uh, create the network because now our plane have only one face so we should create some network for this face uh, as you understand we need is a trim is a trim and as you can see here, is a trim. It's the creating the some uh, subsets on your surface. Let's connect plane to the surface. And now the most interesting part: we need the main. We need the just divide our uh, face to some uh, some new uh, some a few po a few surfaces. Uh, how we can do that? We need divide. As I said already, we need divide. And as you can see by this picture, we can divide one face to the sum faces, divide the main. So let's use it. Let's connect segments to the domain. And as you understand, you count and we count, we need to write how many counts, how many uh, faces we wanna get in the end. Let double click and let's say we need 20. 20 and enter. And automatically the grasshopper will choose the slider. Maybe, maybe we, we will change the number of the number of the uh, domains later on. So let's connect it to the Wii, to the U and to the Wii count. And now we need only one thing, we need the plane, existing plane, what we wanna, you know, where we wanna divide it. So we wanna divide it from here and let's connect it to the domain. And now you can see immediately it was divided. Now you can see some artifacts as you can see it here. To don't see it, uh, we want to see only the end result. Here is the end result. If you want to see only end result, you should switch on or off preview the, from the previous one. Here is my previous one. Just click on this node, right click on the some free spaces and say preview off. Now you will see only end result. Even if you will select this one, you not, cannot see now the uh, red selection, uh, I mean the green selection because we switch it off. And we can see only end result. So as you can see, here is the our network. It's not finished. Now we're gonna uh, create some uh, region in, on the our plane because I wanna cut on the sum here. Mm, I mean some part I wanna cut. How we can do that? Of course we need another plane surface. Plane surface. The nice thing in Rhino, you have a lot of the ways how you can solve uh, problems. For example, my way may be uh, not so right. 
I think it's not totally right because we, if we will spend more time, we can find more smooth way, we can find more hard way. So this is what about the programming, even if it's visual programming, uh, we have a lot of ways to solve one problem. So what we're gonna do next? Here's my plane and we will create the slider. Let me, I will create the slider with the 15. Here will be one. And here will be another one. And let's connect to the y, to the x, and to the y. Uh, now we can, as you can see, change dimension of our um, another plane, second plane. I mean, we can change it. But why we need that? Uh, before I will continue, I will. Uh, I wanna move it not by sliders, by by these sliders. I wanna move it by uh, something more interesting thing. Let's use the move. Here is the my move and let's connect our plane to geometry and motion. This is what we want to control. How we can control the motion more interesting. Just go to the input under the parameters. You will find the input and here MD slider. And here is our MD slider. The thing, nice thing, you just should select where will be the starting point and there will be your plane. Pretty awesome. But before we will do something with that, let's uh, look on this side. We have our panel, it's 60 by 60. So it means it's really important because maybe you will do your own data. Here is the 60 and here is the 60. So by this way and this way. And as you understand, this point is totally zero. Why it's important? because we should now write from 0 to the 60 and 0 to the 60 by, for this uh, MD slider. It's like a rule. Let me, I will show you where you can write it. Just double click on the MD slider and you will find it here. X dimension, X domain. Let me, I will cancel. X 60, Y 60. Maybe you have different number here. Right click, OK x domain from the 0 to the 60 and the same for the u domain because I have the same number. If you have the another number just type here and another number and say okay. Why it's matter? Because now once we will connect this to the motion you will see it's exactly moving on the our plane. Pretty awesome. Let me I will connect uh, geometry. Now we should uh, exclude our geometry uh, from, I mean, difference from this uh, surface for, and this surface. Let me I'll find, uh, first let's switch off this one, previous one. We want to see only, only re end result. Double left click and say boundary, boundary surface. Uh, no, it's not boundary, it's region, region surface. Region surface difference. We need difference. Find it. Curve one will be surface one. Curve 2 will be surface 2. Let's connect. You cannot see anything. Let me, I will switch it off this surface. Previous off. And let me, I will switch it off this surface. And now what you can see? Now you can see. Yeah, it's a bit slowly going now. But now you can see difference. One plane from another plane. This is pretty, pretty nice. Because now we can um, create more interesting thing. So as I said, you can change, for example, here I have the rectangular, but maybe you want to create some cycle. Why not? You can so, so, so create some circle. Why not? You can do that. Ellipse if you want. Uh, any shape, just create it and connect to geometry and it will be worked. Okay, as you can see here is the how many time it's uh, spending when you're changing geometry. Three, 300 milliseconds, it's not much, but uh, yeah, it's going now a bit slowly. Anyway, this is some kind of result. And now we wanna know where's the center of each of these cells here. Okay, how we can do that? Pretty easy, area, we just will get area. Area giving you not only area, area also giving you centroid. So this is center of each of these cell. Let me I will connect this result to the centroid and you will see we can we can now get only the points without this part. So once you will change this part, for example, I will move it some here some way here. As you can see the point, I cannot see that point. Okay, pretty pretty nice I think. 
Again, we can create our boxes um, really pr pretty, pretty much easy uh, with a lot of the ways, but we will use the one of the best way, I think, for us. Let's write the box. And here we'll find the um, we need box, uh, box, box, box. Where is that box? Uh, box rectangular, I need. Mm -hmm. Box rectangular, it's here. As you can see, we cannot see any boxes here and we need rectangular, but if you will check, you will find here base rectangular. So base rectangular, it means we can get some curve. As you can see here, we have the curve of the boxes and we just simply can connect results to the curve. And as you can see, here is our boxes here. Here using the standard height, as you can see, the standard height is uh, from zero to 10. If you will create the slider, let me, I will put here the slider and I will make the uh, integer number and let me, I will to the five, from the zero to the five. If you will connect to the height, you can simply can uh, change the height of your uh, of your rectangular. Of course, if you will go back and you will go to the mapping, you can easily change where will be your gap. For example, as you can see here, you can easily change. You can just even delete from the assembly the part and you can put some way here too. Okay, done with that. Uh, but if you want to randomize the height, you should put not only one number. You should put some of the range on the numbers. Uh, you have again, as I said, a lot of the way how we can create the range of the data. Uh, let me, I will show you the one of the way. It's again, here is our construct domain. And here is domain start, domain end. Uh, let me, I will write here the number. Let's say it will be start from the one. And it will be end to the five. Let me connect. And what we can see inside of this domain. We get from the 1 to the 5. Pretty awesome, but it's nothing for us because we need range. Let's use the range. It's here is the, our range. And we will now connect our panel to the range to the C result. Maybe I will create another panel. It will be better for us. As you can see inside of the range, we get the numbers from the 0. It's by default to the 1 because if you will get the step, you can see it, the domain and range. This is automatically from the 0 to the uh, to the one, 11 numbers. Here you can see the 10 numbers. Let me, I will connect domain to the domain. Now you can see it's a bit changed from the one to the five. It's exactly what we did here from the one to the five. It's our range. But maybe I wanna change the step. As you can see now, it's only 10 steps and that's why we get result as it is. Maybe I wanna create 20 steps. Let me, I will connect 20 steps to the steps and now we get 20 steps. And as you can see, it's from the one to the five. But we have some boxes. So 20, it's not enough for us. As if you will check here, we have 340, uh, 384 boxes. So it means 20, it's not enough. You can physically write here the, um, the number which we need. We need 284. And of course, if you will do that, you will see the difference here. Okay. It's just one of the way I just want to show you how it's working and you can create any randomizer of you, uh, you, which you want. You can even use the already which uh, have uh, by default. So, okay, we have the, uh, the numbers and now we can just connect these numbers to the height. Let's connect these numbers to the height. And what we get? If you will check, we get the sloping here because it's starting from the zero here, not from the zero, from the two, I, I think, right? No, no, it's from the one. From the one here and five there. And as you can see here, is we get some sloping. Of course, we can uh, make some, another thing, like, um, let me, I will find the thing what I wanna do. We can go to the sequences and here we'll, we can find, for example, the random. Let me use the random. Here is the our number, here is already number and domain to the range. Okay, we get here the some numbers. I think uh, it's a lot of the numbers. We can change, for example, as you can see, uh, the number sliders and let me I will co connect the random to the height. And as you can see, here is now a bit different result will be. You cannot say anything because now we get some uh, pretty amazing thing. Let me I will change the random uh, list to the flatter. 
and now we get result as you can see. Now you can change, for example, then by number sliders result. Also, you can create one more slider and connect to the seed. And now you can just manipulate with your future data. So this is all just one of the ways how you can, for example, randomize. You can find a lot of the ways, just use the mathematics and go on. It's really easy. You can do whatever you want. So, and now you just need um, change the color and bake it. Uh, let me, I will first, I will switch it off this view. And I switch it off this view, no need now, right now. Okay, done with that. So what we do next, next we will custom, custom preview. Let me, I will to check my box to the geometry and I will switch it off. And now I need switch material. Where is the, let me, I will use the color, color, color swatch, sorry, not switch, swatch. Let me, I will connect to the material and I will change the color to which I want. For example, maybe somewhere, somewhere here and maybe like this, why not? Okay, done with that. And of course we can change our perspective view to the render it and we will get result. Of course we can change, for example, here the position. And now you have like something like a concept. This is just simple idea to great things. For example, uh, you can make the script more uh, difficult. You can, you now know the area, each cells. Each cells it's uh, only nine, uh, nine, me nine meter, nine square meter. So you can just use this area, you can exclude it, you can make more uh, perfect uh, looking the randomizer, for example, making like here the highest point, here is the smallest point and it will be going like a slope or maybe just like a line. So you can do whatever you want. This is a small script for you guys uh, and just showing the principles of that. The nicest thing now you can, for example, export, uh, you can bake it. If you right click here, you can bake it. Let me, I will bake. And now this is physical geometry. Even if you will close your uh, grasshopper, let me, I will close it. You will see it. Let me, I will change the view to the shaded. You will see geometry in grasshopper. So you can now export to anywhere where you want. For example, to do Revit, to do Archicad, as I said, or the SketchUp if you want, or you can just continue work it here. So this is perfect for you, I think. Okay, this small tutorial with the small and simple script. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.